having what we call undergrowth is a good thing but it can also frustrate your life like seriously guys so growing up if you're relaxed and you have undergrowth it's actually new growth which is a good thing but it makes the roots of your hair stiff and hard so that is when we know that we have to retouch our hair and add a little bit of more relaxer to you know make that place blend with the rest of our hair if you are relaxed or you're transitioning from a relaxed hair you understand what i'm talking about but what if i told you there's a better way to go about this without having to relax your hair at all that and more is what i'm going to be sharing with you guys into this video so please make sure you watch till the end so what you want to do in this case is to really really be patient and be gentle with your hair so i'm going to demonstrate this as i take down my um two weeks um african treading this is a good way to illustrate these guys so i just took down my treading and as you can see the roots are all matted together so this mathing is usually the combination of shedded hairs and the new growth that you accumulated so what you want to do is not to snag on your hair the way you see me doing so what you want to do is to first apply something that will give you some form of sleep like a leave-in conditioner or a slippery you know product something that just gives you an edge you know so what i did was just to use my leave-in conditioner this is what has been working for me it also acts as a form of pre proof for me so i do that and i make sure to apply at the roots of my hair so this is where you have the issue this is where your hair is matting together if you're not careful the shedded hairs can you know intertwine with the new growth so at this point everything is dry what you need to do is to apply a bit more of your slippery co um, conditioner or products to that particular um, root and massage it thoroughly in and you could see that it's begin to soften up you are now more able to penetrate with your hands or with your tools you're not able to detangle properly and everything just glides through easily so this is what i've been doing and for those of us who feel like that part is always the most difficult it's not difficult if you apply the right technique and use the right tools so as you can see i'm first using my hands to finger detangle you know it acts as a pattern comb for me and i just put my hand through to make sure that everything is all separated and as you can see my hair is detangled in a second shortly i'm going to be demonstrating how to use a white tooth comb or whatever it is that you want to use to detangle your hair without snapping on that part growing up with relaxers why we see the need to retouch is because of this undergrowth or new growth <laughs> because you have new growth and that part has not received nourishment from products from anything so they are still a little bit hard so you need to you know nurture them properly so that your hair don't snap at that point because at that point your hair is weak and it can just you know uproot from the scalp if care is not taken so how to undo undergrowth i'm going to show you with this section how to use a white tooth comb to detangle your hair so you see this part where i treaded my hair if i'm not very careful the shedded hair can just you know go around the thread that i use everything can just be a disaster so i'm very much careful with the way i loosen my hair and make sure that i don't lose any hair in the process so i will repeat the same thing and then show you guys what i do with a white tooth comb to this section so first of all i slightly separate with my hands then apply my leave-in conditioner to the roots to the part that is very stiff then work it all down to the tips of my hair to the ends of my hair and then everything soften up and it enables me to separate my hair so i work that in a couple of times and then i detangle with my fingers then i'm going to go ahead and use a white tooth comb to comb this out so using my fingers helps me to remove the shedded hairs gently 
without breaking the rest of my hair so as you can see i'm going to go ahead with my white tooth comb so if you started my youtube channel with me you know this is what i first started with this comb has been with me for more than two and a half years now so i'm going to start from the ends of my hair as you can see i'm going to start from the ends of my hair gently you see it's easy because i've used my fingers to finger the tangle first so i have now work my way up to the roots of my hair if you see what i'm doing i'm holding my head down like in the tension method to make sure that everything does not shrink back up because of course the more your hair shrinks back the more you have more combing to do if you experience a snag like this please don't force it through because this is the way most people break their hair you have to drop that tool or that comb and then use your fingers to separate that part that you know has some knots or tangles don't force your comb through it so what i typically do after separating is to use my fingers that acts as my white tooth comb also <laughs> and then i comb through with my fingers apply a little bit of leave-in conditioner remove the shaded hairs i can now go back with my comb and you can see how easy it is for the comb to just pass through without any snagging like guys you can see that so this is how to properly detangle your hair so growing up we detangle our hair with combs with brushes without even applying any you know products that helps us with sleep we just go and snag on our hair and that is why you're experiencing a lot of breakage you're not retaining length because by the time you snag on your hair like that the hair that you've grown out, of course, you can see the new growth, but at the hands, you're ripping out your hair. So you're not seeing any length retention. So you have to make sure whether you're using a white tooth comb, a brush, or your fingers, you have to be careful. And these products, these slippery products, the leave-in conditioners, the flaxseed, they help you a lot to you know, manage your hair at that point you can see look at the ends of my hair guys this is just living conditioner like guys this is just living because look at how the, my curls are popping like this is just looking like a baby hair i'm so 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 happy with this like guys you can just see for yourself so i'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my hair and then come back and show you guys what it feels So I'm going to go ahead and twist the section. I'm washing my hair in sections and chunky twists. So I'm going to do that all through all that section of my hair. I'll show you guys the final, final result. So in case you watch up to this point, please kindly hit that subscribe button, like this video, share this video. Also drop me a comment. How do you exactly undo your new growth do you get frustrated with it or do you have a good technique that helps you to man manage them properly let me know in the comment section so here are a few things you should never do to your new growth don't feel the need to relax your hair because you have some new growth and also please don't put pressure on that as on that area because at that point that particular area is dry it's freezy because it's just coming out from the scalp no product has touched it it has not been um you know taken care of so you want to make sure that as it comes out you take care of it with all care with all gentleness you know don't snag on it don't put pressure on it otherwise your hair is going to snap from that area so do make sure to take care of your new growth in a way that helps you to retain all that length that you have been accumulating So that is all for today's video i hope you do enjoy this video as you can see look at my hair look at my um shrinkage you're going to see how i stretch this and the whole thing is just the shrinkage is just so crazy i feel like as i grow out my hair it shrinks more and more of course that's the elasticity that i've been praying for <laughs> That is healthy hair because of the shrinkage. So your hair necessarily does not have to shrink for it to be healthy. But this is one way in which I know that my hair is very, very healthy. So as my hair elongates, 
the more it shrinks up like you can literally see my hair i think that my hair is so so short my hair is getting fuller which is also something that i've always wanted for my hair to be more fuller so i'm just going to go ahead and wash my hair because the leave-in conditioner has acted as my pre -poo. i'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair so thank you guys for watching as you can see this is all the hair i lost detangling my hair this is not so much because i used a leave-in conditioner that helps me to go through my hair without snagging on my hair so make sure you're gentle with your hair love your hair be careful and uh, preserve all that new growth that you have so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like this video share this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye